Hello, and welcome to a Saturday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. Today we're going to do the uh, Saturday, July 16th Crossword, so here's your spoiler alert for the Saturday Mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Mini is always free to play, and on Saturdays it's extra large, it's usually 7x7. Seven seven. So, uh, let's do it. Scale, maybe? Oh, no. Play section. Act back here. This is Kingdom. This is Noms. Uh, Chi Men City. Uh, Austin. Chicago. Nonagon. Can. Avocado. Boston. Let and CGI. I right, had a hard time figuring out these two actually. We've got a lot of cities. The largest A city, Austin. The largest B city, Boston. They rhyme even. And the largest C city, Chicago. The largest D city is, uh, what, Denver? Maybe. Dallas? Ooh, maybe. I won't look it up. We'll just jump into the, um, like noms. We'll just jump into the, uh, Friday, Saturday Daily Grid, which is by Cameron Austin Collins, who I think usually writes puzzles that are quite hard for me. Um, so here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. Yeah, so let's uh, let's see what Cameron Austin Collins have, has in store for us this Saturday. Let's get into it. Something you might write on. Get in the blank. Propelled oneself on skis. Is it just pulled? Beloved pop. Wasn't stoic. Could be emoted. God is one, a woman, in an Ariana Grande hit, a little tales perhaps. Name synonymous with longevity, Methuselah. Get in the something. Swim? <laughs> right on spec, yeah. Some prizes, cash awards. Putting greens in these courses might be expected. Salads, maybe? Perhaps. We say. Kind of shirt. Aloha shirt and pie hole. Some rings on a plate. Calamari. Father, farther away, in a sense, colder. Very informally. Mad. Handled well. Soldier doll, mouse king, the nutcracker. Um, that men may rise on stepping stones of their dead blank to higher things. Okay, cutoff point. Funshine or Love Lot in Toondom. Don't know who those are. Small pictures, perhaps. Some race starters. Okay. Dear old dad. Byproduct of kissing a pet, maybe. Words on a jacket. Bio, maybe? Like the author bio? I'm not sure. Mythical race dwarves. Their dead selves. Edit. Alter. In order. Sorted. Like a right tune's tail. Banded. This is Neural Nets. That's kind of nice. Philadelphia Art Museum. I don't know it, unfortunately. Uh, solo. Hmm. This Yap or what? Solo parts? I don't know about that. Okay. Emergency device in DC. Buttercup relatives. Okay. They're not that good at flowers either. Some sort sources of some beams. One time Edison protege. Is it Tesla? Ac inactivity could be torpor. Printer setting. Its participants are always tired. NASCAR? They're not always tired. Google search strings. This is N grams. That's nice. Probably fixing a pet dog slobber? Maybe. Someone to comfort and hold me in a Mariah Carey hit. Don't know it. Blast of the past in brief. Curling iron's functional opposite. Uh. Hot cone? 
There's a Haley Atwell, isn't there? Short. Shy. Like, if you're a few dollars short. Got him with the head of an Ibis. Hmm. Initiate post-production. Start. Something. Printer setting. Like a bajillion dollars. Hyper... Hyperbole? Hyperbolic. Okay. I don't know this. One might be a pop-up. Curveball stat for short. The RPM. California City in the Moh Mojave Desert. Anemones? Could be. Maybe a test here. Atomic bomb test. Oh, bat something. Like Batman, DC Comics. Brightness or darkness in musical terms. Gets in line. Super group at Woodstock. Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young. Right? Viscous. Boozy, maybe? Or Rouse. No, it's probably Peak. Right? No. Oscar Wilde, Salome, E.G. Deja View, question mark. Rerun. Is it peak? No. Worldwide blank. Worldwide west. Bat phone. Okay. One something? Barstow, California. Tone color. This is letter. Lasers. Small pictures, perhaps. Art films. Odell Beckham. Hair bear, didn't know that. This is deft and pistols. Okay. Is it just I lose? Uh, dream lover? Hot comb, I see. Bolero? Start a blog, I see. Arouse. Um, evens. Gin up. Ropey. Okay. One well, might be a pop up. Shot? No. CC is here. One actor. Tea jacket? No, pop up shop. Alright. Actually managed that in under six minutes. Didn't know Thoth. And a one act play being called a one actor is not something that I was familiar with, but. Um. It sort of had the uh, kind of cultural references that I sort of expect from Cameron Austin Collins, who also, I solved a lot of his puzzles in The New Yorker. He's sort of a, many cultural references to stuff like, I don't know, like comic books and theater, right? And uh, stuff like that. Music. Honestly, stuff that I'm, I'm actually quite bad at, uh, <laughs> personally, but... All right, we've got some, some ballet here. We've got the Care Bears, none of which is in my wheelhouse. Um, but I guess there's some references to tech between neural nets and engrams. So it's really like uh, wide ranging references, but sort of, uh, you know, I would say kind of culturally references that I'm not in that culture as much, let's say, not into as much. Interesting black square shapes on the side. They're not rotationally symmetric, but they are the same shape everywhere, which adds a bit of visual interest to the grid. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty amazed I solved that in under in under six minutes. Let's uh let's see here. Right on spec. It's like you're not on salary, you're right on spec. But get in the swim, I guess that means get in the water, but it's not a not a phrase that I use. Doesn't seem to be a super... It's a book. But it's not clued as a book. It's just clued as a phrase. A swimming instructor in Chelmsford, England. Doesn't seem to be a super popular phrase, gotta say. I think it's like... Definitely a phrase, but 
not super duper popular. Okay, we've got an Ariana Grande, Grande reference, which you did know. This is like, I guess, if you lose a coin toss, but... Solo parts. What is, what is exactly is a solo part? <laughs> Yeah. I, do you, like, what kind of... Is it just, like, as opposed to, like, being in the choir or, or whatever? Yeah, I, I, I think of solo part in this sense. Like, you know, you have concerto, and you, you write the... There's a solo part, and then there's the orchestral part, say. I don't know about the solo parts to describe. These ballet parts. Basically, any part you name is a solo part, isn't it? I don't, like I said, I'm not really in that world. Um, yeah, this is like on a on a book jacket. So this this short stuff is like clued. Um, not so easy. Engrams. I like I like the string of letters. It's uh you know six letters one vowel, and it's definitely a thing. That one's definitely a thing. Got an art museum reference, which I think. Philadelphia Art Museums. Barnes Foundation. Okay, I've definitely been to the Philadelphia Museum of Art. I don't think I've ever been to the Barnes Foundation. Interesting building. Yeah, maybe I, maybe I should. I live in DC, I should really go to more art museums. Yeah, A test. Not the happiest of, uh, subjects. Yeah, we got sports references as well. Start a blog. I like the clue a lot, initiate post-production. Um, I don't know if start a blog is like a legitimate phrase though. Michael Sharp always complains about phrases that are like eat a sandwich, which are definitely phrases, but like, are they like actual standalone phrases? I don't know. I do like the word hyperbolic here, and the clue, using the word bajillion. Tone color is nice. Yeah, and then one actor is not a phrase I've heard for a one-act play, but there it is. Nice clue on rerun, deja vu. It's cute. <laughs> We've got World Wide West. That's like a deep NBA cut, so that's also pretty hard. But it's crossed fairly enough. Maybe you, you could argue that this is a hard crossing between Barstow and World Wide West. Debatably. Yeah, I guess you, your yap can refer to your mouth. I always think of it as a verb. Yeah, there you go. Slang mouth. Didn't don't know my Care Bears. Colder, like you know if you're. Getting warmer, you're getting colder. Got this Tennyson quote. Dog slobber. Is it really a byproduct of kissing a pet again? I'm like, getting dog slobber on you is a byproduct of kissing a pet. I feel like the dog slobber was there all along. It's not a byproduct of you kissing it. It's a byproduct of, like, <laughs> of your dog. <laughs> not familiar with this song either. So really a lot of stuff I'm not that familiar with. Um... Nice little misdirect here on DC Comics versus Washington, DC. Yeah, Haley Atwell. Didn't know, though. But he does, in fact, have the head of an ibis. Am I pronouncing it wrong? Maybe. You could also pronounce it tote. There you go. Gin up. Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young. Yeah, so kind of what I expect from Cameron Austin Collins, like I said, wide-ranging cultural references. But I dare say, easier than usual. Which I'm not complaining about. I'm, I'm used to, like... So, like, I do a lot of... I, I do the New Yorker crossword puzzle every day, where he publishes quite a lot of puzzles, and I'm used to sort of expecting to take a while if I see his byline. But, uh... This one was sort of breezy. <laughs> um, 
actually faster than yesterday, right? So, uh... Weird times yesterday. I thought yesterday was pretty hard. Oh, that's my 3,000 puzzle solved. On an 869 day streak. Anyway. Leaderboard for tomorrow, we have KFS Venta. And, uh, I guess I... Wonder if we have Kimball on the other one. May as well check. What else am I gonna do right now? Nobody yet. Uh... And we've got Just B removing his parenthetical. Shout out to you, Just B. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you tomorrow, probably not at 6. I think I'm going to hang out with uh, Stickers and Ogre. But uh, I'll see you tomorrow for some Sunday puzzles. See you then.